You ask some questions about ovulation. First, you want to know if ovulation causes your appetite to increase, and it doesn't, but if you have PMS or premenstrual syndrome, then that ca can cause your appetite to increase. It can also make you feel bloated and tired and have headaches and mood swings. These are all things associated with that, and they can happen one to two weeks before your period is going to start. So it could happen shortly after you ovulated, and this may be why you're noticing that this is happening around that same time each month. This may also be the case for the bloating that you mentioned, and you did no notice that you've had a little bit of abdominal tenderness and, or soreness. Some women do experience a little bit of mild pain during ovulation, and it's one-sided, and it can last hours to days. So if this is happening, then that's also a possibility that it's just ovulation pain, but if the pain is persistent, or it's getting worse or affecting your ability to function, and then you should bring it up with your doctor and they can determine if further investigation or treatments are warranted for it. Now you also asked a question about how long ovulation lasts, and technically speaking, it's about a 24 hour window. And you are fertile for three to five days leading up to ovulation and on the day of ovulation. And the reason why there's a three to five day window leading up to ovulation is because semen can live inside a woman's reproductive system for that long. So that's why if you have intercourse any time leading up to, then that egg could be fertilized if sperm is in your reproductive tract. If you're concerned about any of the symptoms that you're having, or you notice that they're not associated with certain types of times of the month, there's not really a rhythm to it, and again, it's becoming more persistent or severe and affecting your ability to function, then do talk with your doctor because those symptoms can be related to other things as well. Good luck with everything, and if you have more questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountainmoms and recommend us to your friends and family too.